In a world where EVs rule everything, we still have quite a few, few vehicles that, that'll blow your mind, like the GR Corolla and the Toyota GR Yaris. The GR Corolla makes 300 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque with a 1.6 liter turbo three-cylinder. Let me say that again. A turbo 1.6 liter three-cylinder, which is this thing right here. Now, we're going to talk about this a lot later, but look at these cylinder walls. Look at those. Those are some very, very thick cylinder walls. They also have all-wheel drive in this thing, and the system that controls the all-wheel drive will let you set your Corolla up to where it's 30 in the front, 70 in the back, 60 in the front, or 30 in the back, and so forth and so on. It also has a drift system. But check this out. This is what blew my mind. So some guys took a regular-ass GR Yaris, right? Took the 1.6-liter three-cylinder engine, and they gave it a big turbo. They didn't forge the internals or nothing. Just kept the stock internals, stock block, and added a humongous ass turbo to it. It made 700 plus horsepower. Don't believe me? Check out the article. 741 horsepower to be exact. And this post was as recent as May 30th of this year. 741 horsepower from a three-cylinder engine. And it's understandable. I mean, let's look back at how thick those cylinder walls is. I mean, look. Beefy ass internals and thick ass walls. Hell, you could probably touch closer to the thousand horsepower with this type of engine. And need I remind you, this is a three cylinder. A three cylinder. So imagine if this thing was a four cylinder or hell, even a V8. This thing could handle 700 plus horsepower with nothing more than a three cylinder. That is nuts. Hell, the guys at Toyota even made a carbon-neutral, hydrogen-powered Corolla called the GR Corolla H2. This is uh, for, for the Toyota, huh? People feel. Now, this was a damn good concept. I mean, you put hydrogen in and out the exhaust is water. Just pure water that you could damn near drink. The disadvantages was finding a fuel pump that will operate at 253 degrees Celsius or hell, keeping the hydrogen at 253 degrees Celsius and below. Yeah, so I support the hydrogen move more than I support the electric. It's like at, at least with hydrogen, you can hear engine combustion. You know, it's actually a lot cleaner than gasoline. But the problem with hydrogen is everything that it takes to keep hydrogen contained and safe, you know. But other than that, like I said, I, I, I support hydrogen versus electric. Love you.